And now, Splunk Cybersecurity 60 Second Charity Challenge. Remember the rules. You've got to get through an entire subject in 60 seconds or you donate to today's charity of choice. Good luck. So, Ryan, you alluded to this earlier, I think, with uh, victim blaming in terms of, you know, when we talk about breaches and cyber attacks, it's a lot of times it's a situation that could happen to anyone in different circumstances. And so that's something that we often talk about is, you know, victim blaming. And I saw an interesting discussion on Twitter recently about this in cybersecurity, specifically in situations of, you know, phishing attacks, blaming the employee that maybe clicked a link in an email instead of um, taking responsibility uh, as a security practitioner. And so this is the tweet here. This is Sherrod uh, over at Proofpoint who tweeted um, basically that humans are the number one vector, but our tech is the number one defense. And I thought that was a really interesting take on that. So I wanted to ask both of you your stance on victim blaming in these scenarios and what can actually be done to prevent these types of attacks. So who wants to go first? Well, I think I did win last time, surprisingly. Um, so well, I, I don't think that will last much longer, but uh, uh, I will go first. But who's the, uh, what charity are we donating to this time, Audra? Uh, we are uh, donating to the Anti-Defamation League, uh, and this uh, is an organization that fights against anti-Semitism, bigotry, and then also defends uh, democratic ideals and civil rights. So that is okay. the charity for this. Week. Seems topical. Seems topical right now. Um, that's for sure. Um, all right, uh, Mick, I will let you go first this time. So okay. I can pale in comparison. Uh, let let your son be free and bright. Um, you know, there you go. All right, let's get going. Okay, so. I understand what Sherry was saying. And with all those cyber defenses, victim blaming is really, really hard. So it's just going to have to work harder at it. It's still the user's fault, right? It's still your fault for clicking on a link that was specifically designed to fool you, uh, to get past all those cyber defenses that I put in place. You know, you shouldn't have clicked on it. That's, it's basically on you. I know as a security professional, I have not made that link safe in the past 35 years or very since its invention to make it less dangerous for you to click on, basically it's still your fault. Um, don't click on it. Be perfect all the time. Every action that you have on my network, and even off my network, because some of that data is gonna live on your personal devices too and your cache and things like that. So know that at any point, this is still your problem and still your fault if anything goes wrong. Not on those cyber defenses. Uh, those are gonna be at fault sometimes, but it's all about the human vector. So I'm gonna find a way to blame you for my incompetence. All right, Ryan. Man, I'm not going to win. It's horrible. All right. So I'm really torn on this comment. Uh, Lucky, go ahead and play clip here. All right. So I'm torn on the comment. I 100% agree, agree that there isn't a good reason just to say the user should have known better. But I do see in my career, and all of us have, an incredible amount of very innovative, fascinating work done by the average user to circumnavigate network defenses put in place to defeat basic attacks. Everything from like, hey, we're not gonna use USB drives anymore, so I'm gonna come up with a really clever method to get this data off my file to do my job. Because in my opinion, network defenders don't often put a lot of work into understanding the business process of their users, thus causing them to circumnavigate these basic security defenses, which then leads into the self-licking ice cream cone of blame. My personal belief, I come down the middle. There's some things computers are good at and there's some things that people are better at. Perfect example happening right now in Ukraine where the difference in Ukrainian and Russian is obvious to a Ukrainian, but hard for a computer. Like we said at DARPA, the best sensor is a human brain. We shouldn't blame folks when tech breaks, but we shouldn't ignore the power of humanity. I... All right. Mm. What, Mick, did you want to add something? Oh, are we are we, are we we doing debate? I just want to be clear, <laughs> I, I, maybe not. I understood the assignment as clear. No, no, you I hate am. users. Um, <laughs> uh, you're, you're, Look, you hate the them. algorithm says that you should spend like 30 seconds on this page and you have not. So clearly you're not no, cyber no, aware. No, no, it's 60 okay? seconds, Mick. So... It's a 60 second challenge. It's not 65 seconds plus a follow up rebuttal. No, no, no. I just, I, I, I may have misunderstood the, the victim blaming part of what we were doing here. I, 
You know mm. what? It's fine. Uh, are you are you looking for us not to blame you? You are the victim here, and you're saying award you to That's win. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Audra. It's, who, who won? I am going to go with Ryan this time, and I'll I'll explain why. I think it's I. This is a complicated issue, and it's not you know. There's a lot involved here. It's it's user awareness, right? But it's also there are defenses and things you can put in place in advance to try to prevent these attacks. So it's you know it's not one way or the other necessarily. It's it's complicated. So I, I appreciate that you gave both sides of that. Uh, but Nick, great I... job. Also. <laughs> I Maybe think I still found a way to blame the blame the user for this. So yeah, I think you've yeah. got a way to blame me for winning, and I feel guilt now. Um, <laughs> that Catholic mm -hmm. inherent guilt. I'm just uh, the original sin of winning. Um, but it's all right. Those apples. We win. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How about them apples? Um, <laughs> shove those up on the screen for you. So Mick will be donating sixty dollars to the Defamation League, Anti-Defamation League. Maybe the Defamation League. Yes. I, I guess it depends on who uh, who you're blaming here. Uh, and that will be matched by Splunk, which is a, a wonderful aspect of this. So we we always have winners.